In this video, we're going to take a look at how you create a guest wireless access point on a Google Wi-Fi mesh network. The aim is to allow a house guest to access a Wi-Fi connection, but without exposing your Google Wi-Fi home network to their devices. In a previous video, we created a mesh network with a wireless access point name called My Doodad's Wi-Fi. So in order to create a guest wireless access point, we need to return to the Google Wi-Fi app. Once the Google app is loaded, we are shown the status of our Google Wi-Fi network. This includes showing the number of Wi-Fi points that make up our mesh network. In order to create a guest wireless access point, we need to load the Shortcuts and Settings tab. Within Settings, you will find a guest Wi-Fi option that is currently greyed out. When we select guest Wi-Fi, we are guided through the process of setting up a guest wireless access point by answering a couple of questions. First, we're asked to give the guest wireless access point a name. As you can see, a name is provided by default. I'm going to adjust this name slightly to make it more consistent with the names of my other wireless access points. Next, we have to create a guest password. Now, obviously, we should not be using the same password for the guest wireless access point as we use for our main wireless access point. The good news is that the Google Wi-Fi app noticed what I was doing and notified me that I had already used this password. Let's change the password and select Next. The next option will allow you to share a device over both your home network and your guest network. At first, this idea threw me as it's not a service that I've seen being offered by any other make of wireless router. However, the idea is simple. If you have a Chromecast, for example, you might want your guests to be able to throw photographs, music and video to your TV. So this option allows devices like the Chromecast to be made available on both your home network and on the guest wireless access point. We will be looking at adding devices to our guest network in a future video. But for now, let's click Create. While the guest wireless access point is being created, your private wireless access point will be unavailable. This is in part because the nodes that make up your Google Wi-Fi network will have to reboot. As I use multiple wireless access points, when Google Wi-Fi reboots, the computer that I'm working from reverts to a secondary wireless access point that I also use. Let's take a look at the access points. You can see the access point that the computer reverted to. But more importantly, you can now see that we have a My Doodad's Wi-Fi guest access point. I'm going to reconnect the computer back to the My Doodad's Wi-Fi access point. But the My Computer Wi-Fi guest access point is now ready to be used. The Google Wi-Fi app will display a pop-up informing us that there is a new feature that we might like to add. Family Wi-Fi is something that we will be looking at in a future video. Now that we've enabled guest Wi-Fi, the icon for this feature becomes active. So to recap, we've taken a look at creating a guest wireless access point on Google Wi-Fi, and then we have confirmed that it's been set up correctly.